High Harmony Seekers. Today we're going to deep diving into the final part of the sacred dance of intimacy and connection. Let's explore the layers of intimacy that go beyond just romantic gestures. Experience the beautiful dance of love as time adds depth to it, making your connection even stronger. How does intimacy change as we get older? So, how exactly do boundaries and communication come into play when it comes to strengthening this special connection? Contrary to what some people may think, boundaries can actually enhance intimacy instead of hindering it. And, how to speak from the heart and connect deeply with others. This journey is going to give you a deeper understanding, unlimited compassion, and a stronger connection with your partner. By the time we're done, you'll have all the insights you need to make your relationship stronger and more fulfilling. Let's dive into ways to bring back the spark and navigate those intimate moments together. A lot of us think that the heart of intimacy is all about having candlelit dinners and going on romantic walks. But you know, intimacy goes much deeper than just those romantic moments. It's like how a river has hidden depths beneath its surface. It's all about the laughter we share, the things we discover together, and the comforting presence we have for each other. Every Sunday, when the sun starts to paint the first light, Lucy and Hugo, they would set off on this really cool adventure together. Instead of the usual morning small talk, they would jump right into all sorts of interesting topics, from wondering about black holes to delving into the depths of human consciousness. It might seem a bit strange to some people, but for them, these intellectual voyages were like an anchor, you know? They would laugh about these ridiculous theories, back each other up, and sometimes just sit quietly, taking in the fresh perspective the other person had shared. Their love story wasn't just about roses. It was written with a beautiful blend of shared curiosities and mutual respect. Just like a massive tree with branches so full and leaves that dance and rustle with the gentle breeze. These are the sweet and special moments that make a relationship so romantic. They're so visible and worth celebrating. But you know what's really cool? Underneath, those roots spread out like crazy, quietly sucking up all the good stuff and keeping the tree nice and steady. This is like a level of intimacy that goes beyond romance. It's unseen but really deep and it helps to strengthen the relationship. How often do we actually recognize and appreciate these roots? When was the last time you and your partner did something together that wasn't typically considered romantic, but still felt really special and close? I totally agree. Romantic gestures are like those gorgeous flowers that bloom and bring so much fragrance and color to our relationship garden. They truly make everything more beautiful, don't they? But you know, a garden isn't just about flowers. Well, well, the same goes for intimacy. It's not all about romance. You know, it's those deep conversations, the shared jokes, and the mutual challenges that really create this beautiful mosaic of connection between people. They remind us that we're more than just lovers. We're also best friends, supporters, and companions on this incredible journey called life. Have you ever thought about the different ways we express love and intimacy with our partners? It's interesting to consider the various languages of love that we use, don't you think? Do you know of any activities or rituals that can bring people closer together, even if they're not typically considered romantic by society? If you really want to deepen your connection and make it even more special, why not try something different once a month? Take a day to intentionally go beyond the usual romantic gestures. How about we dive into a hobby together, explore an intellectual topic, or even take on a challenge as a team? It could be a lot of fun. Let's take the time to really get to know each other again, not just as a couple, but as individuals with so many different interests and passions. What topic or activity would you choose for this day if you had to pick one? How about we explore something that both of us are curious about, but haven't really explored together yet? As time went on, Lucy and Hugo's Sunday morning ritual really changed their relationship. They came to the realization that they were not only partners in love, 
but also in life's amazing journey. Their bond was just like the Yarra River, full of passion and depth, winding through different interests and keeping them inseparable. When it comes to love and music, it's really interesting how the lyrics and melody can grab your attention. But it's the harmony that truly adds that special touch, giving it soul. Romance is like a beautiful song, where shared interests, respect, and laughter come together to create a perfect harmony. Make sure to cherish and nurture your relationship, and you'll see it grow and flourish in all its beautiful colors. I am very curious. When it comes to love, what are the things that make your romantic journey truly special? What are the harmonious chords that add depth to your unique melody? How are you planning to celebrate and take care of them in the upcoming days? As time passes, it has this way of shaping the stones on the riverbanks, kind of like how life leaves its gentle marks on us. As we get older, our bodies and emotions naturally go through changes. It's just a part of life. But you know, it's interesting how a river always stays true to itself. Just like the heart's ability to connect deeply with others. Let's talk about the connection between intimacy and getting older. Have you ever been to this amazing park in the city? It's such a beautiful place, especially during sunset. When the sun seems to gently caress the earth with its warm rays. William and Jasmine have been walking hand in hand for decades. When they were younger, they used to race each other, laughing and teasing each other playfully. But as time passed, their faces started to show the stories they had lived, and their races turned into slow, deliberate walks. Maybe they weren't as physically strong as before, but those evening strolls where they watched the beautiful sunset and exchanged meaningful glances while reminiscing became the foundation of their enduring closeness. Let's talk about wine cellars, shall we? There are so many bottles of wine aging in the cool, silent dark. As the years go by, the wine inside changes and develops. Well, you see, the thing is, the essence of the wine doesn't really change. It just becomes even better, more complex, and in a lot of ways, more enjoyable. Aging and love is like growing up. As we grow older, the intensity of our youth may fade away, but there's something truly special about the wisdom, insight, and subtle enthusiasm that comes with age. It's truly unmatched. Have you ever found an old letter or photo and just had a flood of emotions? It's such a powerful feeling, isn't it? Are there any moments from the past that remind you of how far you've come? As we get older, our physical abilities might decline, but our emotional and spiritual well-being can really flourish. It's really beautiful when we can understand and navigate these changes together. We get to create new rituals and rediscover each other in the process. It's pretty special. You know, there's something truly magical about the excitement of young love. But you know what's equally beautiful? The cozy feeling of just getting each other without saying a word. The happiness that comes from reminiscing about shared experiences and the profound love that has stood strong through life's challenges. Remember those times when you and your partner would find joy in the little things? Or when a simple shared memory would make both of you smile? Don't you think there's something special about those moments? I wanted to share this awesome idea with couples like you. It's called the Passage of Time Diary. It's a really beautiful tradition that you can start together. Every year, why not take some time to write down a special memory that really captured the closeness you shared that year? It could be a great way to remember and celebrate your special bond. Maybe it's a joke that you and someone else find funny, or a difficult challenge that you managed to conquer, or even just a peaceful and calm moment that you experienced. Over time, this diary will become a precious collection of shared moments, capturing how our intimacy grows and changes. When was the last time you really looked into your partner's eyes and saw all those years of shared experiences reflecting back at you? As time passed, William and Jasmine kept up with their evening strolls. Even though they were moving slower, 
their hearts were still racing just as fast. And guess what? William gave Jasmine a journal one evening. He wrote down moments from every year they were together, moments that truly shaped their love. Jasmine, with tears in her eyes, suddenly realized that their closeness went beyond just their evening walks. It was in all the beautiful memories they had created together. Getting older is just a part of life that we can't avoid. But you know, there's something really special about it. It's a chance to really strengthen our relationships, to get to know our partners on a whole new level, and to appreciate those quiet, magical moments together. Embrace the years, because every day holds the potential for a love that becomes even more profound and fulfilling. How do you plan on keeping your intimacy strong as time goes on? In the dance of two souls, understanding when to come together and when to give room is an art. Just as the rivers need their banks to reach the ocean, Couples need boundaries to ensure their love flows in harmony. It's the story of Colleen and Brandon again. Their love was evident to all, but there was something unique about them. They had an unspoken pact. Once, every month, they each had what have a me time. Colleen would immerse herself in her art, while Brandon drinking with his friends. While their love was deep, their understanding of each other's need for personal space made their connection even more profound. One day, Brandon confessed that he missed an important friend gathering just to be with Colleen. Colleen, instead of feeling elated, gently reminded him of the significance of their time. She said, in our time apart, we discover pieces of ourselves that we bring back into our shared world. Their respect for this boundary, contrary to what one might think, made their moments together more intimate and cherished, just like a garden. In it, flowers of all kinds bloom. Some need space, while some grow well in clusters. If we do not give each plant its space, it might overshadow another, hindering its growth. Setting boundaries in a relationship is akin to gardening. By acknowledging and giving space to each other's needs, we ensure our relationship, our garden, remains vibrant and ever flourishing. Can you recall a time when you felt overwhelmed or stifled? How did it feel when you finally had the space to breathe? Boundaries are often misunderstood. They aren't walls or barriers. They are the very foundations upon which our love story stands tall. They signify mutual respect and understanding. It's about knowing that we all have unique paths and sometimes we need to walk them alone to come back stronger together. Like Colleen and Brandon, it's essential to recognize and communicate these boundaries. They not only protect us, but also ensure our relationships remain strong and rooted in mutual respect. Do you have a boundary, spoken or unspoken, in your relationship? How did it help in strengthening your bond? I would like to share a simple yet profound practice. Consider having a boundaries chat once a while. During this time, both partners can express any new boundaries they felt or even revisit the existing ones. This chat isn't about restrictions. It's about understanding. It's about ensuring that as you both grow, your relationship evolves with you. Imagine a month from now, after having your first boundaries chat, what change do you anticipate in your relationship? As months turned into years, Colleen and Brandon continued their pact. They grew, both as individuals and as a couple. Their mutual respect for each other's boundaries not only gave them space to explore themselves, but also gave them profound insights, which they shared with each other. Their love story was not just of two hearts beating as one, but of two souls, each understanding, respecting, and cherishing the other's rhythm. In the grand tapestry of love, Boundaries are not stitches that separate. They are the threads that weave a stronger, more beautiful pattern. By respecting and understanding them, we ensure our love story remains vibrant, harmonious, and uniquely ours. Remember, in every boundary set, there lies an opportunity for deeper connection and intimacy. How can setting clear boundaries enrich your shared journey of love and understanding?
I think about true love a lot, and it always reminds me that beyond all the passion and romance, what really matters is open and compassionate communication. It's like the foundation that connects two souls together. Colleen and Brandon live in the west of the city. They're such a delight. I was really inspired by this unique ritual that they shared. Whenever they felt like they weren't on the same page, they would make it a point to sit down and have a nice cup of tea together. But it wasn't really about the tea, you know. They created this sacred space where everyone could express their concerns, make sure they were understood, and find resolutions. This little gesture wasn't just about taking a sip of a drink. It was their way of showing that they're determined to prevent any issues from building up and to always keep the lines of communication open. You know, it's kind of like how a sailor uses a compass to find their way across the big wide oceans. Intimacy communication is like that compass for our relationships, making sure we're going in the right direction. It helps us stay on track and make sure we're always working towards understanding each other. Have you ever experienced how having an open conversation can be like a compass in your relationship? When we really think about intimacy, we realize that it's not just about being physically close. We're talking about aligning our mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects. In order to make this happen, we just need to be brave and open about what we really want. What's bothering us? and how we truly feel. Being open with each other isn't just about avoiding misunderstandings. It's about inviting our partner into the deepest parts of our heart, which strengthens our bond. It's funny how often we hold back from sharing something because we're worried about what others might think or the potential for conflict. But then, looking back, we realize that if we had just spoken our truth, it would have been so freeing. Have you ever had a moment where you wished you had been more open in your communication? How about setting aside a special time each week to relax with your partner and enjoy a soothing drink together? Let's have a heartfelt conversation, not just about chores or everyday tasks. The important thing isn't just the day itself, but rather the dedication to always making room for open conversations. What if you set aside just one hour a week for a heartfelt conversation? How many conflicts do you think could be avoided? Can you imagine how peaceful and harmonious things would be if we all just understood each other better? As time went on, Colleen and Brandon's bond just kept getting stronger and stronger. Their tea talks would often change, you know. Sometimes they'd be filled with laughter, and other times they'd bring tears. But no matter what, they always left with a better understanding of each other. They had this special way of nurturing their relationship, making sure they grew together and always stayed in harmony. Love is like a big symphony, you know? It has its ups and downs, the exciting parts, and the quiet moments. But the key to making it all work is intimate communication. It's like the rhythm that keeps everything in sync, making sure every feeling and every note is in harmony. How are you planning to create your own tea talks? What kind of ritual can you adopt to make sure that communication is at the core of your relationship? As we wrap up our conversation today, I want you to imagine a beautiful garden. Imagine intimacy as a beautiful garden. Some days, it's so bright and beautiful with flowers in full bloom. While other days, it just needs a little extra care and attention. Today, our discussions were like planting seeds and giving them water with the goal of helping your relationships grow. You know, every gardener understands that the real beauty lies not just in the moment when the flowers bloom, but in the whole journey of taking care of them, nurturing them, and seeing them thrive. Intimacy in a relationship is like a tree that gets stronger as it faces the sun, rain, and winds with each passing season. It can handle storms, loves sunny days, and with every moment we share, it grows deeper in understanding and compassion. You know, every time you hear the leaves whisper or see a flower blooming, it's like they're telling you a story about patience, persistence, and love. It's pretty amazing, don't you think? So, what's the first seed you're planning to plant in your garden of intimacy? As we reach the end of this final chapter, in this beautiful journey, 
We've delved into the depths of intimacy that go beyond just romance. We've seen the beauty of growing old together in love, learned the importance of setting boundaries, and discovered the magic of heartfelt communication. These beats right here are what make up our dance. Trust is like the key that opens every door. You know, every time we've danced together and connected through our moves, trust has been at the core of it all. It's that trust that gives us a sense of security. Intimacy and connection dance gracefully, but it is trust and security that compose the song they move to. But how does trust shape the contours of modern love? The answer awaits in our upcoming episode, Trust and Security, the Foundation of Love. Just remember that trust is the key to our beautiful dance as a couple. <laughs>